So Kaiweet sent me their newest uh, electric screwdriver uh, set to take a look at. So that is what I'm doing today. Seems to have a whole bunch of stuff included. We've got all these screwdriver bits, including duplicates of some of the more commonly used ones, just in case they get damaged or what. And then a bunch of other accessories with it as well. Some spudgers and other things. That's kind of cool. So let's get into this thing and just see what it is. And we have a little manual here. A manual for a screwdriver. Interesting. Let's take a look at that in a minute. And then we have the main event in a little pouch. Actually, it's not a pouch. It's a tool roll. Oh, that's kind of neat. So under this flap on the left side, we have a bunch of Phillips, some Torx, more Torx, more Torx, um, posi drives, these tri-blade bits, some straight blades, and again, duplicates with more common ones. That's cool. Under the middle flap, we have more straight blades, uh, pentalobe, five, uh, yeah, five sided, um, some hex bits, and again, duplicates of the common ones, all the way up to a, well, there's a six millimeter there. Hmm, where did that come out of? Anyway, down here we have another flat blade. We have a little curved pry bar kind of thing. That's interesting. A couple of kind of all pokey things. And some nut drivers. I've never had nut drivers in a screwdriver set. Or at least not this kind before. And that kind of a little... The opposite of a Phillips, I guess. Hmm. I have not seen that screw. This is neat. And then just a an extension shaft. Okay, so that's those two flaps. What's under flap number three? We have a set of curved, sharp, pointy tweezers. That's cool. We have a little brush for dusting uh, dust out. We have a plastic spudger. We have a ooh, flex shaft extension. Oh, that's neat. Okay. We have a metal spudger, which looks a little bit like a dental tool, but no, it's a metal spudger. Okay. Uh, we have a suction cup up there. So this kit is clearly designed for like laptop repair and phone repair and that kind of stuff. So we have I said, a suction cup for pulling the front glass off a phone. And we have a SIM card ejector. You have a magnetizer, deep magnetizer thing. There's a pair of magnets in there, and depending on which direction you shove through. Okay. Then we have some, oh, I guess you could use them as guitar picks, but really they're intended as spudgery, prying kind of opening tool things. So three of each type. And then what is down in here? Okay, we have just a straight extension, and we have a short USB-A to USB-C charging cable. Aha! USB-C charging. Cool. And then in this little cylinder here, we have the actual screwdriver itself. A little bit of a charge on it. Forward and back, that works. Ah! And it has a flashlight built into it too. That's nice. So I'll just plug it into charge here for a while before I carry on. It's charging at about just shy of 350 milliamps. All right, so I'll let that go for a while. Yes, while we're waiting for that to charge up, let's take a look at it on Kaiweet's website. This is the ES20 electric screwdriver set, 137 in one cordless precision power screwdriver set. $59 Canadian, or presumably less than American, about a third less, I would guess. Uh, I'll put a link to this down below, of course. And just for full disclosure, it is going to be an affiliate link. So if you happen to buy something from this, then I will get a commission. Although that's the only money that I'm getting for this. There is everything that we have. Oh yeah, I didn't um, mention, but in the kit, there is also this little magnetic card with a grid on it. So you can, uh, if you're taking screws out of something, you can stick them on there magnetically, just in the rough orientation where they came out. So you can figure out where to put them back in. So things I'm going to have to play with once it's fully charged. It says it's got a torque adjustment. You can adjust it from 0.15 to 0.35 Newton meters. Now, I don't have any way of measuring that directly. Uh, I don't have a torque gauge or anything like that. 
I might be able to come up with something just to see, just to sort of demonstrate how much it all pull, I guess. 200 RPM, no load. Yeah, well, there we go. There's basically all that stuff again. Magnetic, yeah. LED light, yeah. And that's kind of neat that you can turn the light on and off manually. The other electric screwdriver that sort of looks a little bit like this that I have, it has a light as well, but the light only comes on when it's actually doing screwdriver -y things. This one, you can turn the light on manually so that you can see where you're going when you're trying to get you know, down into a dark hole inside of a chassis or something trying to get onto a screw. So that's kind of nice that you can turn it on. And I'm going to torque adjustment just by holding the LED switch. All right. Again, there is the list. It's the same list as off the back of the box. Ah, that's what that is. A quarter inch to four millimeter driver adapter. Oh, okay. Sure. So you can use this kind of a tool. Um, just your average quarter inch style. Oh, that's neat. You can use these bits with that. Or I suppose... You could use it with something like this too, couldn't you? Sure. It's a little excessive, but you could do it if you wanted to. All right, it's been charging for a while. It's taken 191 milliamp hours. We're down to about, you know, 50 milliamps going into the thing. So I think that's good for now. Should be good enough to test it with anyway. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't notice that before. When you've got it turning, this collar here doesn't turn just the bit itself well, that's nice as i mentioned before there is the light and you can turn it on or off independently of the thing operating so pushing and holding that light button also adjusts the torque so right now i've got it at maximum torque and i can't stall it i push and hold it for a little while now it's on a low torque mode and i can stall it okay so if you're screwing into something delicate, like a plastic or something like that with a self-tapper, then that may be useful. And there we are, I'm back on max torque. Now then, how am I going to test how much torque this thing really has and demonstrate it in a visual way? Hang on just a moment here. Let me see if I can figure this out. So maybe if we just see how much weight it can lift, would that be reasonable? So it's having no trouble with those fishing weights. Let's add some vice grips to it. Yeah, it has no problem turning with that weight on it. What if we add a hammer? Yeah. It's lifting that extra weight too. Maybe if we add a bigger hammer. Yep. Hmm, cool. So that's a fair bit of torque. Let's see if it can also lift the small hammer too at the same time. Can I get them all to balance on there somehow? There. Yep, it's lifting all that. Wow. Okay. And it's not making happy noises, but it's still doing the job. Well, that's cool. Yeah, it was only sounding grumpy when it was lifting all that weight. Wow, I'm impressed. But of course, weight lifting isn't what this thing's designed for. It is a screwdriver. And this is what it's designed for. And yeah, it is definitely torquey. Look at that. Definitely does the job. Excellent. With that massive assortment of bits that are in the kit, I can't imagine there's going to be a lot of uh, jobs that this thing won't be able to handle. Of course, I do have a bunch of bits from a bunch of other um, electronics or precision screwdrivers, I guess they usually call them. And they all are interchangeable, but this assortment has some that I haven't seen in any other kits. So that will be super useful. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be using the suction cup very much because 
a phone screen repair isn't really something that I do, but the rest of these I think will come in handy at one point or another over my tinkering time here. It's always good to have a couple of extra spudgers. A little dusting brush is kind of neat. This flex shaft, I think that will be useful too. Just to get into odd little places. I like that. The extension is always useful, skinny extension, because you know the body of this thing's a little bit big, so if you have to get down into a narrower spot, that's cool. And yeah, it is just a solid little piece of kit and a nice carrying case too. I don't usually consider myself all that concerned about carrying cases, but back when I was, you know, um, working in bars with bands, it would have been nice to have had a kit like this with some small screwdriver bits in it just to, you know, repair things quickly um, when you need it to keep the show going on, that kind of thing. Well, there we go. The Kaiweets ES20 uh, 137 in one electric screwdriver set. I think that's a reasonable thing, a pretty good price compared to the competitors on the market. And I don't know if you want to learn more about it, there's links down in the description, of course. Um, if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to comment uh, questions like that down below as usual. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.